Pano. Ndino kukwa zisaiwo muzita ramambo wedu Jesu Christu ndichiti haleluya. Toda kutenda mwari because he has given us honestly a wonderful opportunity to share his word. A wonderful opportunity isikaone ki kwa kawanda. Isingaone kwi neva kawanda. Asi Jehova vaona shaka fanira. Kutisita ravo rigoku zwama nero anas. No kuda kwedu taka unga na pano. Mari vachizuwa nira mbiri. No kuda kwezu ese kwa pano kunga kuemba kunga kuna mata. Mari we kudenga ngawa zoku zwa no kusinga peri. Haleluya. E, Tuna kuwele nga mashoko edu kufaku book ya Matthew chapter number 13. Matthew chapter number 13, kufapa verse ya 24, kunoshika hapa verse ya 30, from verse 24, all the way to verse 30. Ndicha tangisa kuwerenga. Matthew 13, 24. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tars among the wheat and went his way. But when the blood was sprung, was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tars also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Say, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tars? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while you gather up the tars, you root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tars, and bind them in bundles to bend them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Mari ngavaro pafadze kuvere ngwa kushokoravo no kutiri no era. Tinamate. Baba majita ni nguva ya matipa ya kukovera na shoko. Ndo kumira mari mundi batsire kuridu zira ne mazo. Riti le shakanaka mwe hayedu. Riti ponese riti gwinyise. Nyasha noruga areshi chitiri ngana. Muzita rabambo jeso kristo. Amen. Uh, nyaya ya nruda kutawura nejayo tonight. Ina uye kutriva amidst evil. Thriving amidst evil. One of the things that makes Jesus the most profound teacher is because he uses jinu jiri simbu. Jinu jine kunzwisi si kanevanu wa iwe popanguwa iyo yopaita nangura. Which also is very easy for us to understand. Ano shandisa jinu jiri simbu kudaro kutsana ngura jinu jaka zama. Je umambo wa mwari. So he uses the simplest of things to explain the most complicated, most powerful, most relevant, the greatest ever kingdom yaka oneka by, human, by humankind, which is the kingdom of God. He explains things using the simplest of things. And on chapter number 13, it's filled up in my parables. Parables that he was uh, using to explain the kingdom of God. And he would always start with saying, and the kingdom of God is likened unto this. The kingdom of God is likened unto this. And one thing that is consistent in all the parables that, that you know enough from the book of Matthew chapter number 13 is that he is using a seed. He's using a seed to illustrate whatever it is that he wants to illustrate. And on chapter 13, on verse 24 now, he's saying in another parable, he's saying the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. Now, this is a man who has decided to say, I want to be a farmer. And in his decision, Ainda kunotora mbeu yake ya kanaka ya kauchi kwa zakanaka ya kagazi kwa ika iswa mshonga ika stoi wa zakanaka. He came and planted it. I see ma anot nao rave basa reivu kuti imere. So he planted it and left over ainda kumba. But during the time while he was sleeping, 
Then came his enemy. Aka uya, aka uya onembe uya ke yesora kana mtie mashanga. Kuvashika, kuvashima pakati pembe u ya kanaka, ya sima ne muridziwe munda. Now, jinizi jaka mera, together, josimuka. When the blood came out, the blood came out. Ya kuna kuno tungira maruva ya kutichibudi sa michero. Ka blood ndoka tujipanga tuyaut. Kana if we are to talk about maize, tujipanga tuyaut. That's when these people realized that there is something else that was planted in the field. They went to the owner of the field and asked, Did we not plant good seed in the field? And he said, Yes, we planted good. Uh, yes, we planted a uh, good seed. And they asked the master and said, "Now, why is it that there are tars in the field?" Ne makaye pa ita sora rirumunda, rikuoneka. Dipo pa ano pindur wawachinzi. An enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. An enemy has done. This. Then now that they are equipped with the word that an enemy has done this, an enemy came in and planted tars amongst the good plants that had been planted by the master. Armed with this word, they then said, Should we then go to the field and uproot the tars? Kuti asa zingi zira kukura kurukuita. Wit yatasima. Kukura kurukuita shirima yatasima. Allow us, shall we go out there? Wait a minute, master, but we can go out there and uproot the tars. But the master said, don't do it. Musayendako kuno uprooter the tars. This is not the time to do it. Because in the process, yekut zipura the tars. Muchapata ni zira nemizi. Yembesa ya kanaka ya nakasima. Ngo zipura jese. Saka mucha zipura mbesa ya kanaka isati ya iva. Isati ya kukoweka. Isati ya kudisira mchero wa kanaka. Unokoweka za kanaka. Usati wa iva. So you will destroy both. Asimi michisi ya iva kanaro. Time cometh. When it is time for harvest, when then you can go out there, monitor, gather, and how do you then pick? You will be able to notice. Could these stars, in as much as they look more or less the same with wheat, such that from a mere glance you might not be able to pick the difference. But when it comes to harvest time, you will be able to notice could the tars will not be a fruit. The tars cannot be a fruit because they were not planted from the good seed. The tars will not, oh God, the tars will not be a fruit because they are not good seed. But the wheat, which is good seed, will be a fourth good fruit. Now, if we go on to verse 37, he then said, he answered and said unto them, He that sowed the good seed is the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tars are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the, is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. Now he's trying to bring in an understanding of what he is talking about. Kutimbewe ya kanaka ya kajgarwa ya kajgarwa na mwana mukati menyika but satan akanouya onembewe yake yesora akanosima o mashanga ake munyika and yes yatarungiros zoti topatsa nura here should we destroy vacho vakasimwa na satan tisiyeredu vakanaka ava jesu ano tichimbomira izvakadaro my title, like I said today, tonight, 
you know, is thriving in the midst of evil. Thriving in the midst of evil. From the first parable, but I don't talk about the parable of the sword. And all these grounds, desert heights, and angura is the type of people who are receiving this word. Now, if we are to take this seed as the word of God planted in me, which transforms me because the word of God, the Bible says, do not be aligned with the world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind through the word of God. So if the transformation happens through the word of God, which is a seed planted in us, now we become the people planted by God in this world, not because of the family that we were born in, not because of our body size, not because of our intellectual capacity, not because of the capacity at Inayo financially, but because of the word of God that was deposited in us, we become the good seed. And the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Nothing that was created was created out of him. Now, if we become the good seed then, planted in the world, then it means there is the world. Yakatakura was the evil seed, yes, Satan. So the devil is also busy planting his own seed in the world. Arukusima wo shokorake, mukatume na nuvake munika. Wa nuvake kutiva wone kukuri la pamwechete na watend. Now, the unfortunate situation is, these people are not just being planted in the world as in the world alone, but they are also being planted even in the church. They are being planted in our families. And it is up to us as the good seed to then continue growing and thriving despite our environment, despite the people that are around us. Brethren, in this world, Wicked people will always be there. Vanu vakashata vacharamba variko. Varoi vacharamba variko kushika jeso achuuya. Vanu vame hutsinya vacharamba variko kushika jeso achuuya. Ma dictators acharamba ariko kushika jeso achuuya. Mba vacharamba ziriko kushika jeso achuuya. Ma hure acharamba ariko kushika jeso achuuya. Vano nyepa vacharamba variko kushika jeso achuuya. Vakai pa vanoita zino nyanga zakana zino sota. Vacharamba variko kushika jeso achuuya. So we cannot say we have to wait until the time that God is going to take away evil people out of this world for us to then thrive and do the things of God or do the work of God it shall not be so because evil people are here to stay until the coming again of our Lord Jesus Christ Jesu gave an instruction yekuti musava zipura nemaka yei arukuti musava zipura chekutanga mashanga Ne 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 rice kana kuti ne wheat zvino taridzika zvakafanana mashizha acho midzi yacho pakukura kwazvo zvazvinoda kuti zvikure zvakafanana ndokusaka even Jesus tiri munyika muno mari yacho inototi koshera kune nayo for us to be able to survive even for us to be able to spread the word of god we need that money but it is she that could not run Nikawo, Vakasha Tavaro, even to one to eat our foot. Nanga Zacho did not to eat our foot. Neku Shata Quese Coco, Vano to Daos Mesinus at in order. But it is now the same nutrients that we can draw out of the soil. But the difference is. Kana inini ndirimbeu ya kanaka ya kasima na mwari. Kana when I draw the nutrients of money, what kind of fruit am I feeding? Inozo nubudi la pachena. Kana munuwe munyika kasima na satan. Aka draw a nutrient inonzi mari. What 
what kind of fruit ya hano budisa inozo pamusiano wekuti uyumana wa mwari uyumana wa satan the difference is not just in the fruit but because the fruit is determined by the seed so the difference is in the word that you have received. The difference is in the word that I have received. The difference is in the word Muroiraka Tambira. The battle between these two kingdoms will always be there until the coming again of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do end up the great white throne. Judgment ya kuitwa. Voso pinda mugandu wa remoto. Resika zini no kusingapele. Evil people will always be there. But we need to thrive. We need to thrive. Our theme this year is to work for God. And to work for God with all our hearts. With all our minds. With all our strength. With evil people. Whether it's in church or outside the church. Whether it is in our families or at our workplaces. With the evil people all over. We need to thrive. We need to thrive. We need to thrive. With all the difficult circumstances like I said. The devil said that level. Evil people will always be there. Can I tell you what I'm saying? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be but as you grow in the Lord, you will get to levels where you need to deal with the generals, the Huroi. My generals, Epa Satan. They are not the type of Maroi that you just talk about them ordinarily and everywhere. No. Zalejidza. Shakuroya. Shale shiza shakushunguruza. Banu wane hutsinye waka waka umbirizu. Waso wane hutsinye waka ita kuzara dengu. Wekuti eti times ukatarisa so unosea uti jiripai. Ukamona haku vura muromo kuti ataure. You would understand. I just want to give you an example. Have you ever imagined the level ye hutsinye we muruma inzi Hitler? The level you would see your I once read a book of a man of God who was praying at that time, Ngwaya World War II. I tell you, each time God would refer Hitler to Ari, Kuti Anamate, he would not talk about him as an ordinary person. He would say, Pray against that beast. Ukadwa Mari Akumuti, he is a beast. And the level Rashika, Rekushunguru Zavan. Ukaone muna asinda pindu Vine mfungwe kufungwe uti Saka, alright, nduna kunuza 6 million ma juzi Kuvaisa ma fenesi Zivongo cha jaka darovo gazira oili Ichibuda pamunu Kushina munu kubudisa oili The level of hutsinye You will always get to a certain level With the people that you are dealing with Kune ma levels, kune ma grades, kune ma generals ariko. But in rikuti variko zaka daro, we are supposed to thrive in the kingdom of God. Number one, one of the things chatino fani waku hita, chinoti batsira ku thrive, never ever give up on the work of God. Never. Never give up because of evil people Varugu Shunguruza. Never give up because of Varugu Shunguruza. Be it in your personal life. Be it in church. Be it kubasa kwako. Be it kumuriyako. Kune vanu Varugu Shunguruza at all levels, in all facets. The upenu wako. But never use that to determine whether you should continue doing God's work or you should stop. If you want to stop God's work, because Jacques Waza, my suggestion to you is pray to God. Seek the face of God. 
If God is to tell you good day, right for now, Jimbomira Uyende Abba, then be it. It will be so. But don't just stop because evil people are all around you. When I give a cup of tea, I give a cup of tea. David, I know him by Rio, Psalm one one eighteen. I know that I called unto the Lord in in my anguish, and the Lord answered me by putting me on a free place. When I can't attend the nether, I don't even wrap a chin down. Because in your cup, I can't attend the nether. Air, I can't attend the nether. As in case Zita or Jehovah and the Lord of our Raya, I can't attend the nether. Could I get new chips? Zipa mukoko. As in case Zita or Jehovah and the Lord of our Zimura, could I get Muriro and Minzwa? They are surrounded me like bees on a hive. But in the name of the Lord, I'll cut them off. But verse eighteen, you know, you you pushed me that I might fall, but the Lord. Tended me. We need to thrive. The tars are here to stay until the coming again of our Lord Jesus Christ. The tars are not going anywhere. But it is with them, those tars. It is when we are thriving around them. We will still thrive and do the work of God. And God is in this business here. Kuti, okay, but I'm going to catch some rules. I do do several roles. I do do JJ. I've been through all that in my life. In the name of God, I don't touch you. I don't touch. I've never been to father. I said I can't. I don't go end. I don't go far. No go. So this is a closed chapter. But God will not do that. I don't know why the girl was going to change. I don't know why I could have. I can't rule my mind. I don't play. I can't rule my mind. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play. But it is in the midst of this that we need to thrive. Never give up on the work of God because of the evil people that are around you. Kunevan were not even in church. One was so specific. I remember when I was in my early twenties in my leadership. Kuchech so na dinengwa zanda ishunguru dzozo kuti bangubato uno gara paso wofunga kuti mar chanda kata zachi na imar. Okay, if that was wrong, because something in you is also edging you forward to say, keep on marching forward. Don't stop. Don't you ever stop in the valley, Lord. Continue to go on to the mountain. Go on to the mountain. That's the place that the Lord wants you. These tars are always there. But they are always there as a furnace also. To sharpen you as you go. As they squeeze you around. God will be sharpening you. As they squeeze you around. God will be purifying you. As they squeeze you around. God will be pushing you forward. Will be making you a better vessel. Because when God... Here's your prayers when you're praying, whether you are in church or wherever you are, when you are praying, especially about the evil that is happening around you, God answers you in one or two ways. One of the ways is God will take away the problem. He will either move the evil people away from you, he will solve that problem, and yes, you will glorify God and move forward. But the other way is God will not move anything. The circumstances will remain as they are. But God will change you. He will change how you see things. He will change how you perceive things. He will change how you respond to things. He will change how you interpret things. Such that you will come out of that situation a better person. The situation remains the same. But you become a better person. And as people look at you, they will keep on asking you, how did you make it out? How did you come out of this? Given the circumstances that are around you, how did you make it? Only God is able to do it for you. Only God is able to do it for you. He will answer your prayers. These people, they are always there. They are always to, there to squeeze you. And, and at times the devil uses the people that are available. <laughs> you know, he uses the people that are available. You, it might be your husband, it might be your wife, it might be your children, it might be your father, your mother, it might be your grandmother, it might be any of your relatives, or it might be the people. I'm not going to swing some church. I'm not going to swing some church. I'm not going to swing some church. But in all that the Bible 
Paul says, for we know that in all things God worketh together for good to them that loveth the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. We know that God maketh all things to work together for good. Despite what they might do, despite how they might look at it, despite their, their agendas and their objectives, their evil plans against your life, still God will use all those and turn it out for your own good. Never stop. Keep on thriving as wheat that is thriving amongst the towers. They are there. The towers are always there. And there is one way that is very effective. One way that is very effective in thriving among us the towers. And I call that prayer. I call that prayer. Prayer has got a way of connecting, has, has got a way of lightening up the way between me and God. He, he, prayer has a way of strengthening the bond between me and God. Prayer has got the way, a way of clearing up my sight between me and God. Prayer has got a way of bringing forth strength that I never knew I had. Prayer has a way of strengthening even my physical body. When I felt that I can do it, anymore. Prayer had a way of pushing me forward. Pushing me forward towards the goal that God wants me to achieve. Bringing me forth that I may be even more fruitful. Prayer. But if prayer is to be made by people who have evil intentions, evil objectives, people who are planted by the devil, Wicked men amongst us, even their own prayer becomes a sin before God. Now, such prayer will never bring forth results because the seed in them is of the devil. It is not of God. The seed in evil people is of the devil. It is not of God. But those who have the seed of God in them, those will always thrive. No matter how difficult the circumstances are, no matter how difficult the situation is, they will keep on thriving because God continues to give them the strength. He gives them the tenacity. And when they pray, God hears their prayers. God is not going to take away the task now. He's not taking it away now. But we need to pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Paul always talks about, about prayer. He says pray in all manner of prayers. Meaning there, there is a time when you pray as a worshipping person. There is there's a time when you pray in praise. There is a time when you pray as a petition unto God. There is a time when you are asking things from God. There is a time when you are, when you are crying before God. There is a time when you are praying relaxed but praying. But there is a time when you pray. You lay prostrate on the ground. You call upon the name of the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Where the righteous run in and they are safe in the day of our diversity. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And how do we run into it? By prayer. We thrive through prayer. We thrive through prayer. We do the work of God amongst evil people through prayer. Prayer will give you the strength that you need to thrive. Prayer. 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 Problems will always be there. This one is solved today, another one comes tomorrow. This one is solved, another one comes tomorrow. This one is solved, another one comes tomorrow. Until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, problems will always be there. But something has to be consistent and persistent in us. That is prayer and growth. So that when the, our fruit brings, uh, comes forth, there are people who are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going The only reason he is not going to be able to do it is not because God doesn't love them, but it's because the seed. That was planted in them is of the evil one. Pray therefore unto God that he may set you free from within. 
pray. You see, it's unfortunate that some people have carried the seed of the evil one. Vano no nyengera. Even varum church. Vano no nyengera. Varum systems a church. And I, I used to send the cheetah leadership training when I was training my youth, uh, youth leadership. I used to say to them, don't you ever hold a leadership position in church with a very wrong motive. Don't you ever see a hako story none. Because kana urukupa pinda with an evil intention. It's a double impact for you. Number one, ausuku dakushandramari. Number two, you actually want to stop whosoever wants to work for God. And that is a dangerous thing. Jesus says at the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, the towers will be gathered first. And they will be thrown into a gulf of fire. Where there shall be the gnashing of teeth. There shall be pain. The fire is unquenchable. It will burn forever. It will destroy. And the only difference is the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit. That one comes out of us through the seed, which is the word of God that was planted in us, grown throughout time, brought forth throughout time, through prayers and supplications and, and meditations on the word of God and, and doing the work of God. In all this, the fruit of the Spirit will come forth. And as it comes forth, it will set you aside. And prove the difference between you as a child of God and those who are the children of the evil one. Jesus, at some point, he tells some of the people who were around, he says to them, you are like your father, the devil, who was a liar from the beginning. For in him, there has never been the truth. God is looking forward to see our tenacity, to see our thriving. God is looking forward to gather us into the barns and bring forth the fruits that we are bearing so that the world may see what we are made of, so that the world may see who unto whom we belong, so that the world may see the Jesus who is in us. He can only be seen when we intentionally thrive despite our circumstances, despite our environment, don't you ever, ever stop on the way. May the Lord God be with you, strengthen you, guide you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord. Yes, evil people are all of our, around us. They are always striking. They are always throwing their theory that's against us. They are always throwing their arrows against us. But Lord, I pray that we thrive. I pray, Lord, amidst all this pain, I pray that we may thrive. In the midst of all this agony, I pray, Lord, that we may thrive. And I pray, let there be no root of bitterness that grows in us, that will stifle growth in us, Lord, that will stop us from bearing fruit, that will bring forth, Lord, a compromised fruit. I pray in the name of Jesus. Help us, almighty Lord God, that we may thrive and thrive despite the evil that is around us. Change us and use every circumstance around us, every environment around us, Lord, to make us better people, to make us better people that we may yield more and more and more unto thy glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.